Hey, welcome to part one of my three-part series on my design process. And be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video because I've added a bonus video that shows you how to photograph your vinyl to make a more realistic mock-up in design space. Hope you like it and give us a thumbs up if you do. I found a saying the other day that I really like and it is the wolf on the hill is never as hungry as the wolf climbing the hill. And let's see what kind of images we have. Mm -hmm. Here's a good wolf. Here's a good wolf. Wow, Cricket has a lot of wolves. There's a wolf on a mountain. All right, let's look at these. So here we're just starting to design, right? That's a beautiful image, but let's hide him. And this is cool because he's on top of a hill. And he looks cool because he's kind of sin sinister. He's just banging at the moon. I don't like that one. We'll hide this for right now. Hey, sorry for the interruption, but if you like what you're watching, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell to be notified of all new tutorials. Hmm, let's see if we can get rid of this wolf by going into shapes. And I'm just playing around with this. Just This is the whole design process, right? Send that back. I'll make this thing bigger because it's to be easier to work with. Got to unlock that. Let's move it down. Okay, I'm going to see if I can select this and slice, get him out of there. All right, ooh, here's a, he looks good because he's looking down. Yeah, let's make this as big as we can. For the time being, I'm going to group that. Let's make it easier to move around. And I'll make this wolf a different color. Uh, maybe green. Hmm, let's select the wolf and hide him so I can focus on the hill. I pull a square from shapes, unlock the corner, and stretch it to match the hill because I want to make the hill long so the wolf can climb it. Then I hide the yellow wolf so I can concentrate on the hill and get it exactly the way I want it. Once I do that, I select all and weld it. Once I have my mountain almost the way I like it, I duplicate it because it's always good to have a backup image and I need another image to make some pathways. To make this additional pathway, I go into shapes, pull out a square, cover the pathway in the duplicated mountain image, and I slice that pathway out. Then I go up to colors and give it a different color 
because it makes it easier for me to see the new element that I'm dealing with. Now I unhide the original mountain that I created and I take my new pathway and start rotating it and manipulating it to the point where I think it's going to look best. And then once again, I select all and I slice that new pathway out. Okay, now it's time to focus on the wolves. So let's bring all of my wolf images back that I uploaded from Cricut and give them different colors and see which wolves we're going to use. I decide the green and the yellow wolf are perfect and I hide the other two just in case I change my mind. Now I unhide the copy that I've written and I start playing around with color, layout, typography, how it's going to lay best on the image. Personally, I think working with typography is one of the most challenging parts of the design process, but that's just me. To keep my copy the same, I just duplicate each line and change it. This way, the size of the type and the spacing remains consistent. Now, as I'm looking at this image, I decide this moon should be a different color. The whole mountain is going to be one color. That's the easiest to do. We don't want to make this too busy because the message is really the hero, right? Secondary hero is the big wolf climbing the hill. Okay, so I want to get rid of this moon. So first I'm going to hide that wolf and that wolf and the copy. This copy, this copy. All right, so we just have that. And again, back to shapes, let's get our circle out. Get a color so you can see it and I can see it. Get it, put it behind this. and select all and slice that puppy out. Let me get my wolf on the hill back. But maybe I'll make this a little bigger and just to for my edification just to look at it this way. And then I can make that that um, color we were talking about. That phosphorescent. Yeah, I like that better. Let's keep the focus on the wolf. And finally, I just keep playing around with all the different elements until I have a design that I think I like. And since I was quarantining with my daughter at her lake house, I decided to ask Emily what she thought of my design. Tell me what you think about this. Huh? Tell me what you think about this is something I've just designed. That's good. Kind of cool, right? Yeah. I mean, these aren't the colors. I like it. Of course she likes it. She's my daughter. All right, I'd like to show you something that took me a while to learn. I took a picture of the hologram with my iPhone. It's difficult to photograph because it's shiny and it picks up everything. And this image is not as dark as the real hologram. 
but I want to use it in my design to give me an idea of what this is actually going to look like. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this. And that's my screenshot. I'm going to call that hollow and set it on the desktop. Now we're going back into Cricut and let's see if we can upload that. It's a PNG now since I took a screenshot of it. There it is. All right, I'm going to save this as a print then cut. I'm not actually going to use it for that. I'm going to use it for a mock-up that I want to make with a hologram. Now I just upload that into Cricut Design Space. See if I can pull my mountain out, send it to front, I'm going to duplicate this mountain just because I don't trust myself. So now I have two. I can hide one. And I can reduce that to fit on here and select all and slice. So that's how to take a photo of your actual vinyl, download it into your download file, and then upload it through Cricut. And that'll give you a better idea of what the end result is going to look like, just playing around with it. For more tutorials like this, just subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit the bell to be notified of all new tutorials. Thanks again everyone.